I didn't actually learn to read until I was in the sixth grade. And once I learned to read, it just opened up my mind to limitless possibilities that I could do. So I wanted to become a criminal lawyer to combat all the social injustices that I witnessed in my own neighborhood, to, to just make a change in the lives of people who look like me, who talk like me, who came from the same background that I came from. Yeah, that was, that was what I wanted. Fast forward to my early 20s, I re my criminal activity really began to escalate. Um, I also developed, through my drug dealing, I also developed a drug habit. Um, what's very popular here in Baltimore City is uh, heroin. So I began sniffing heroin as well as dealing heroin, and that led to uh, a greater need for currency. So that led me into robbing. So I became a, uh, a jack of all trades with, you know, on the street level robbing, drug dealing, um, extortion, anything to get money to keep my habit up. Um, those activities led, landed me into the federal penitentiary system. I was sentenced to 135 months. I did uh, just over 10 years in the federal system. Um, my whole trip in the federal system, I was behind the wall because I was considered uh, high security. I built an impressive resume while I was away in prison for us with trades, teaching classes. I also became a master fitness trainer, um, HVAC, electrical, you name it. Um, I acquired about 40 credits, college credits towards my business degree. And here I am um, in the halfway house with just a shirt on my back. So for the next three months, I went on interviews every day, including Sundays. You know, all day, that was my job, find, trying to find a job. And hearing no, 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 and I, but I kept pressing. Be More Green took me at, for all the reasons that everyone else denied me. You know, like I said, my resume was very impressive, but my criminal background was the barrier. Be More Green validated in me everything, every conviction that I had that told me that I could do better. So I would work from 5 a.m. to about 3.30, 4 o'clock in the evening, and then I would uh, go home and try to spend a little time with my, my stepdaughters and then I would go to school from 6 o'clock to about 11.30 at night. Job training and support is, is, is important for people who are being released from prison because it actually gives you, it, it makes you feel that, that, you're, that you're necessary on so many levels, that you are wanted. And, and with a skill set that you can take on with you forever and that you can in turn pass down and teach someone else. And that takes on a whole nother life of its own when you're teaching someone else. Uh, and the support is very instrumental because if there's no support, then there's actually no movement, no growth. Every day that I wake up and I look at my wife and my kids, you know, and I can reach out, touch them and hold them and kiss them and tell them I love them. And then, um, you know, that, that's, I'm grateful for that. You know, because I remember a time when I couldn't reach out and touch and hold and hug anybody that I love. What I know now that I wish that I would have known when I was young that, that it's perfectly fine to be myself and to pursue the things that really my heart has a burning desire for. If I would have known that when I was young, then my story would have been, you know, magnificent.
getting pretty magnificent now. It is. It would have been magnificent earlier. 